What's up guys, Nitro here, and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Blaze Black Eggalock. Last time you guys, we challenged the first gym in the Unova region, being the Strident City Gym, and we successfully defeated the first gym leader, Gym Leader Chili, and we get... And we got our first gym badge. In today's episode, you guys, we're going to make our way to the Dream Yard and hopefully make our way to Nacreen City, the location of our second gym badge. So if you guys are excited for today's brand new episode of the Egglock, make sure you guys night slash that like button. The support has been insane the past couple of episodes. I know it's the beginning parts of the LP and stuff, and hopefully we can continue strong throughout the entire series. But yeah, anyways, don't forget to answer the question of the day today, which is going to be, who is your favorite evil organization? Mine would have to be either team plasma or team galactic i think it would have to be team galactic first just because um cyrus is just really badass if you guys don't know who cyrus is that's the leader of um team galactic he's just really badass and i really like team plasma as well i don't know why i just like the whole concept that happens but uh i'm not gonna spoil too much because team plasma is in this game so uh <laughs> yeah anyways let's get a party update we have Matty the Mantech at level 13 with his Hydro Pump, Signal Beam, Twister, and Headbutt. And someone in the comment section down below actually told me that we need a Remoraid in order for us to get a Mantine. So I think what I'm going to do is, if you guys know where we can get a Remoraid, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, what I'm going to do is, if I run into a Remoraid, I'm going to keep it on the team, but it's not going to be part of, the, part of the party because obviously this is an Egglock. Um, but um, I'll keep it in the party and we'll level up Mantike. Um, and that way we can get a Mantine because I've never used a Mantine and I kind of want to use one So yeah, anyways next up we have Famine the Snorlax at level 14 with his Amnesia, Zen Headbutt, Double Edge, and Curse We have War the Archon at level 15 with his Quick Attack, Wing Attack, Pluck, and Head Smash And last but not least we have Tusk the Swine Up at level 14 with his Icicle Crash, Bite, Body Slam, and Ancient Power Alright, so let's make our way to the Dream Yard because that is where we have to go next so uh let's go inside here all right we are in the dream yard if you guys do remember a couple episodes ago we did get a pampor that was a gift pokemon but now we can actually get an encounter in the grass so we get two encounters because i do gift encounters and regular encounters as well so we're gonna teach someone cut and uh war is the only pokemon i can learn cut which kind of sucks but uh it's all right it's a grass type move as well so that's pretty cool that Dreano did that in this game so war now knows cut which is awesome so let's cut down the tree all right and here comes bianca hi sasuke you're looking for the mysterious pokemon too i can't i can't do female voices you guys and whoa what was that noise hey did you hear a sound coming from the other side of the wall come on let's go see all right let's go over here and oh snap it's a muna uh, okay, Muna, don't be scared of us. Oh, wait! And, oh, here comes these two weird people. We found Muna. Come on, come on, make some Dream Mist. Move! What the hell's a Dream Mist? Is that, like, some kind of drug? Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dreamus, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We will show their dreams to manipulate their hearts. Oh, that, that's Pokemon abuse. What are you doing? Come on, spit out that Dreamus. You're kicking a Pokemon to make off Dreamus? That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Sasuke! Oh god, okay, so here is Team Plasma. Here we go, alright, so we're gonna battle Team Plasma Grunt. And you're gonna have a Trubbish. Level 14, alright, so we are... Uh, equally leveled so we're actually gonna speed this up we're gonna go for a hydro pump and of course we miss and you're gonna go for toxic spikes all right I need you to hit please I need you to not miss and our special defense fall uh, which is fine I guess we're gonna go for a hydro pump and we finally hit one more should do the trick all right uh, leftovers of course all right hydro pump does hit this time knock out the trubbish 
all right next up is going to be drowsy uh we could handle that let's go into famine actually and all right and poison of course because of toxic spikes which is fine uh we're gonna go for the double edge actually uh there we go level 15 for famine and Ekans. All right, all right, Ekans. We can handle an Ekans. Level 14 with Intimidate. Uh, we are going to go for the Zen Headbutt. So, yeah, this is Team Plasma, you guys. One of my favorite evil teams. That is what that is what the question of the day is as well. Uh, don't forget to answer. You guys have been honestly really active in the comment sections as well, which is great. Were you not talking? Were you not taking them seriously? Well, whatever. I'm next. All right, here we go. Next Team Plasma Grunt. Let's do this. Yeah, you guys have been showing so much support on this series. I just can't thank you guys enough. I Hopefully the support continues throughout the entire series. Because it, it does mean a lot. Um, and you guys are the reason why the egg lock is here. Because you guys sent in eggs, of course. And don't forget, you guys, after next episode, I won't be accepting any more eggs. So if you guys haven't still sent in eggs please 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 make sure you guys send in eggs um if you already sent in eggs don't worry about sending any more eggs because you guys are fine but uh whoever wants to be a part of the series and you still haven't sent in eggs you have until the episode next episode and then after that i won't be taking any more eggs so yeah anyway signal beam knock out the cacnea level 14 for man tyke uh leftovers all right cool Next up is the coughing. We're gonna stay in actually. And we are gonna go for the twister. And there we go. Knock out the coughing. Alright. Uh, and last up is going to be a Grimer. Alright, we can handle Grimer. We're gonna go back into Snorlax. Because Snorlax can handle this Pokemon. Alright, level 14. Let's go for the Zen Headbutt. Uh, and hopefully knock this Grimer out. There we go. Knock it out. And there we go. Alright. I can't believe we lost. But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. And they're just going to keep going at it. Come on, make the Dream Mist. Knock it off. Uh, I forgot to do the voice. Oh, snap. It's Getsis. What are you two goofing off? There's two. We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. Oh, God. If you cannot fulfill your duties. This isn't... Getsis, he's gathering followers, or Getsis was trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, that, this is Getsis when a plan has failed, and he is about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry, so he forgives us. Okay, that's weird. Oh, that's Musharna. So I guess Musharna was doing all that, uh, Getsis stuff. What just now? That person called Getsis appeared all over the place and what, what, it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon? Oh! Oh, it, it's, uh, Fennel. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Yes, it is. It's Musharna. Alright, they're both gonna leave and they're gonna drop something. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came and it showed us something like a dream. And then Team Plasma... I think I follow that. See, Mushana evolves from Muna. So seeing Muna in trouble, it may use its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. I, I can't do female voices. <laughs> oh well. Is this a dream, miss? With this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? <sighs> How random was that? Sasuke, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Well, I'm going to look now for the Pokemon we just saw. Alright, so, uh, fun fact, uh, Bianca actually adds a Muna to her team. Alright, so this is a brand new area, so our first encounter is going to be a Venonat at level 12. Alright, so, uh, let's go for the Headbutt and Foresight, that's fine. And we're gonna recover with some leftovers, and, uh, we're gonna go throw a Great Ball, and we're gonna swap this Venonat for an Egg if we can catch it. One, two, three... Oh, okay, okay. I see how you want to play now, Venonat. I see how you want to play. Come on, join the team. Holy crap, it's been 10 minutes and we haven't done anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to do some progress. Alright, Venonat, I need you to stay in the freaking ball, please. Come on. 
I, I, I can't have you doing this. We're wasting precious time. Oh, God, don't hit yourself. Okay, flinch, thank you. All right, Venonat, I need you to uh, stay in the ball, please. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you for staying in the ball. All right, we caught Venonat. Insect Pokemon. We're going to swap this thing out for an egg, of course. All right, but let's grab this item. It is going to be TM59 Incinerate. All right. Um, I don't think any of our Pokemon can learn it, so we're not going to teach it to anyone. And we run into a freaking Clefairy. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to uh, swap an egg. All right, so let's actually go over here because there are a couple of items we can grab, like TM88 Pluck. That's kind of cool. All right, and let's make our way over here and grab this item. It is TM23 Smackdown. So, so far, we've gotten three TMs. Pretty cool TMs, actually. They're kind of useful for the beginning of parts of the game, but then as you make progress, uh, they start weakening a little bit. And we find TM70, TM76 Struggle Bug. Holy crap, that, that stutter, though. How the hell did I stutter that much? <laughs> All right, so let's make our way out of here. And let's just speed up. Let's make our way out of here. And fun fact now, um, now that we did all that, there are Shaken Grass, which um, sometimes is Aldino. If you guys don't know what an Aldino is, basically Aldino gives out a lot of EXP after you beat it. So that's pretty cool. So let's make our way over here. I'm not going to read the text because uh, that takes way too long. But we get to see gear from this girl. You guys will see. But yeah, the Sea Gear is kind of a cool option, but you can't really use it anymore because now that Nintendo has turned off the uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi for Nintendo DS's and regular Wii, so we can't use this thing anymore, but the Sea Gear is kind of cool. So uh, we're gonna... Alright, there's some kind of cool features that there was when uh, Nintendo didn't shut down the Wi-Fi for uh, regular DS's. And we get the Pal Pad. The Pal Pad is completely useless. I hope one day... Um, Nintendo decides to open up the Wi-Fi for Nintendo DS's because some not a lot of people actually have 3 DS's um, That so like what's the point of turning off uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi's for regular Nintendo DS's and the emulator is lagging kind of but uh It's alright. It's alright. We can deal with it for a little bit Alright, so we're gonna heal up our Pokemon and we're gonna swap out Venonat for an egg It's gonna be level 12. So that's gonna be cool so let's see okay we did box one box two let's get the venonat it's gonna be level 12 so let's do this five four three two one and it is shazam okay uh shazam um i think i know who sent this actually um i'm gonna make sure because i have the list of eggs right here but, uh, let's see, Shazam is going to be a... An Abra. Alright, alright, let's check out Abra. I'm on my phone, I'm on Cerebi, actually, so let's check out, uh, Abra. Alright, so, uh, level 1 moves, so here I am, so we're gonna name this thing Shazam. Shazam. And there we go. Shazam. <laughs> All right, so level one moves. We're gonna check this thing out. Level one, all right, good. Timid nature, uh, teleport, psychic, heat wave, and energy ball, and holy crap, okay. Uh, to the person who sent in this Abra, <laughs> uh, these are not level one moves at all. Uh, yeah, I, I guess you gendered it wrong. Um, I'm not sure what you did, buddy. I don't know what website you looked, but uh, I'm on Cerebi, and Abra doesn't learn Psychic at level 1, so, uh, those moves are illegal, so we gotta re-swap, which kinda sucks, but, uh, oh well, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hikati, with a Dusto, okay, Hikati, Hikati, what could Hikati be? We're gonna find out. Alright, Hikati. What could Hikati be? And we've done absolutely nothing in this episode. I do apologize, you guys. But Hikati is going to be a... A Mistrevious. Damn it! I thought it was a freaking Murkrow! Okay, okay, okay. Hikati the Mistrevious. 
All right, I wonder what anime reference that is. I don't watch too many animes, but uh, whoever sent in this egg, let me know what uh, this name stands for. Uh, I would love to know. Kind of interested, actually. Hikati. All right, so it's going to be level 12. I think I'm going to add it to the team, actually, just because uh, we need some diverse on the team. Okay, Modest Nature, Ominous Wind, Ominous Wind Wonder Room, Nasty Plot, and Skill Swap. I've never heard of Wonder Room. What is that? All right, all right, cool, cool. Hikati. Um, all right, so it's going to be level 12. I'll level it off screen. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it on the team. I, I know I just said I was going to use it, but um, I don't know. I'll make my decision um, at the end of the episode or next episode. I don't know. But we got to get moving. We got to get moving because I want to make some progress a little bit. So uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of Strident City. And we're going to make our way to um, Nacreen City. That's our next destination. All right, so we are going to make our way over here, and there's nothing down here. All right, all right. So let's talk to you. Do you know how technical machines work? A TM can instantly teach a move to a Pokemon. You can use it over and over. All right, that's cool. All right, uh, let's talk to you. Wow, you got a shiny badge? All right, cool. And wait, we have a rod, right? Didn't we get a fishing rod? I, th I thought we got a fishing rod. Let's see. Let's check. No, we don't have a fishing rod. Okay, I gotta remember to come back because this could be a Strident City encounter as well. Okay, so we are in Route 3. This is a brand new area. I'm gonna skip as many trainers as I can and save it for the grinding montage that's coming in the future. Uh, so let's battle these two twins. Let's see what they got. Two Pokemon, Nidoran, female and male. Level 14. Alright, we can handle that. We have Snorlax and Mantike up in the front. We're going to go for the Hydro Pump. And we're going to go for the Zen Headbutt. Hydro Pump on the Nidoran male. Knock it out, please. Thank you very much. Um, Zen Headbutt. Nidoran female. Knock out the Nidoran female. There we go. All right. So, defeated those trainers. And let's make our way over here. And here is Sharon. We're going to have a rival battle, actually. I do remember. Sasuke, stop. We both have a trio battle. So, let's see which one of us is stronger. All right, let's do this, Sharon. This is going to be our third rival battle already. So, uh, yeah, black and white, we had so many rival battles with our rivals. It's ridiculous. Like, we're up to our third rival battle against Sharon. And you have a Starhavia. Okay. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of threatening, to be honest. Uh, let's go for the Hydro Pump. Uh, you're going to go for Growl. We can handle that. Hydro Pump. And almost knocked out in one hit. We're going to go for the uh, Twister. Quick Attack. Going to get some damage off right before we kill you. There we go. Knock out the Star Avia. Level 15 for Mantike. All right. Uh, next up is going to be a Rock and Roll. All right. Uh, just to get rid of the sturdy, we're gonna go for the twister. All right, there we go. Rock blast! Oh crap, Mantike! No critical hit. <sighs> we lost our first Pokemon in this egg lock. I'm sorry, Mantike. I'm so sorry, Mantike. <sighs> Well, it was bound to happen soon. It, it was bound to happen soon. All right, knock out the Rog and Rolla. Level 16 for Snorlax. Next up is a Pan Sage. All right, we're going to go for the Zen Headbutt Vine Whip. That's fine, Zen Headbutt. All right, Pan Sage. Acrobatics. Oh, God, don't do too much. All right, we ate that up, actually. We have nothing to worry about. There we go, knock out the Pan Sage. And last up is your start of Pokemon Ted Pig. We're gonna go into our Archin, our War, the Archin. And we are gonna go for the Head Smash. And that's gonna kill it, hopefully. There we go. Knock out the Ted Pig. We're gonna take some recoil damage. And we defeated Sharon. Alright. I see. So that's how you battle. Out of the way! Oh, snap. And there goes Team Plasma. What was that about? Bianca, why are you running? Hey, where are those two people headed? That way, but, uh, why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they ran so fast. Miss, oh, my Pokemon. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. Don't cry. Bianca, why were you really running? You two uh, heard... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not reading. I'm not reading. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> 
Alright, so let's get our encounter for Route 3. We find a Super Potion. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get our encounter for Route 3. And then we're going to go hatch that egg. And we're going to put Mantike in the dead box. Alright, Talo, level 13. Okay. Uh, let's go straight for the Pokeball. Hopefully you stay in. It's not a critical capture. One. Oh, come on, Talo. Come on, Talo. Don't be like that. Don't be like that, Talo. Alright, come on, Talo. Come on, Talo. Two. Three. Thank you. It's gonna be level 13. Alright. Tiny Swallow Pokemon. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center back in Striden City. And we're gonna deposit Mantike. And then we're gonna hatch an egg. And then we're gonna end off the episode because... Yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't do uh, as much as I wanted to do. I wanted to make our way to Nacreen City and stuff, but uh, I guess that'll be for next episode. Which kind of sucks, but uh, RIP box. I'm sorry, Mantike. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. You're, you're our first dead Pokemon. Alright, so we're going to go to box 3 now. And this Pokemon's going to be level 13, so let's do this. 5, 4, 3... Two, one, and it is Webster. Okay, let's see what Webster could be. Um, sounds like an electric type to be honest, but we're gonna see. All right, Webster. Let's see what you're gonna be. Webster, Webster, Webster. All right, Webster is going to be a. What is Webster gonna be? Webster is gonna be a uh, Joltic. I was gonna say Galvantula, but it's a Joltic. All right, nice. We have a little Joltic. Uh, we're gonna name it Webster. Uh, Webster. Oh God, I, I misspelled that. <laughs> Whoops. Webster. We have Webster the Joltic. It's gonna be level 13. Uh, first, let's check it out. Um, Webster. No items. All right, bashful nature. Cross poison, disable, pin missile, and leech life. All right, all right. Uh, let's check the website really quick. And all right, it's legal. It's legal. Yeah. So level two, level three, level four. Trying to learn Thunder Wave. Ooh, that can actually be useful. Let's get rid of Leech Life. All right, level five, level six, level seven. Screech. Uh, no, I think we're gonna pass on that. Level eight, level nine. Level 10, level 11, level 12, and Fury Cutter. Uh, no, we're fine. And level 13, okay. So you're caught up with the team, and I think I'm gonna... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna use the Mistrevious or not, but uh, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon, and if we do use the Mistrevious, it will be added on next episode. It will be leveled up to the appropriate level, which is level 12, I do believe. But we're gonna make our way back to where we left off, and that's where we're gonna end off the episode. So, yeah, we didn't do as much as I wanted to do in this episode, which kinda sucks. Hopefully you guys don't mind that too much, but next time we will definitely make our way to Nacreen City as soon as we find out what Team Plasma is doing with the little girls Pokemon and stuff. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys night slash that like button. Um, if you guys did, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys night slash that like button. It really does help out a lot. You guys have shown so much support the first couple of episodes. Let's keep that trend going. Um, if you guys still haven't sent in eggs, make sure you guys do because after the next episode, I won't be accepting any more eggs. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. Uh, next episode will be up on Wednesday. If you guys didn't know, this series goes up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, uh, yeah, anyways, I've been Nightcrow. I'm gonna fly out of here. Peace.